The sign of a good community. Yeah. Well, the gates are open to the control point will unlock in 20 seconds from now. And right now, we actually are going to be privileged to see those heroes like Tracer and Genji. Okay, Tailspin is going to be who I'm observing first, going straight in on the Winston, as he should. Reaper is basically the hardest counter to a Winston, uh, except for McCree himself. So, I have one hero limit, makes sense to have a Reaper and a McCree here. Winston is extremely common. Seagull actually playing Genji, so I'll hop over to him, as that is a rare, more rare treat these days. Yeah, and already immediately getting that kill on Harry Hook on the point, diving through gets Coco as well. Already has that ultimate ability, and it looks like the first point will be secured here on the side of LG. Yeah, Dragonblade already prepared. Seal using that, uh, I can't remember if it's Nomad or Bedouin, but a really cool Genji skin with the curved shurikens. I like it. Um, he's got Dragonblade at the ready, probably going to wait for the enemy team to engage and then slip past them with a dash. There it goes. Straight onto Chips, make sure the Mercy dies. Coco goes down as well with that dash damage. Harry Hook getting sliced up. Timing finally catches him with the Flash and Fan. But the point is being flipped right now in favor of Envious. Luminosity has been hanging on to it all game, uh, but now only about 50% captured. So uh, LG will hang on to it. Yeah, well, sitting strong for now, LG in the commanding position, holding that point, forcing Envy uh, to make the response happen. Envy, they haven't shifted anything up in their composition right now, uh, but they haven't been able to get in there as five. We constantly just have this this middle position right now. Milo kind of just hopping onto the dog, making sure that he has eyes on. I'm watching uh, Internet Hulk now. He's got his Winston ult. He's going to be used to hard engage most likely. He's going to want to avoid that. Uh, McCree player, but pretty much... Oh, actually, there is no McCree on LG right now, so he just hops in and hits whoever he wants to. McCree... Oh, yeah. Esper, he doing uh, a lot of damage to him, actually gets Esper very quickly. Nicely done there. And onto Gods in the back line, forcing Gods back to his base and kicks him off. He almost knocked him off the map by his own shuttle, and that would have been <laughs> pretty embarrassing. I think I've seen that one time ever, but Internet Hulk actually just stalking the, uh, the Mercy as she's trying to come out of her spawn. However, LG is still in control, and that's 80% of the point in their favor now. Okay, Enigma has to rewind to get back to safety. Milo will end up falling there from the Internet Hulk and Seagull diving on him, but that is not a favorable matchup, but they do manage to rip him apart, Internet Hulk going off the edge. Yeah, back onto Seagull now as his ultimate is ready. He's the only member on fire of either team, so definitely having a good game so far. I wish I had some stats to show you guys. Maybe someday that'll happen, but that's a victory yeah. as he whips the sword out. No one there to slice up, but that's okay. They take the first round here on Li Zhang. I mean, that's the first real point on the board here. Um, it's not a full win, but it is a point on the board for uh, LG, and they need that. They definitely need that, e almost even just mentally, right? When you're down 2-0, especially after that defeat they had to Envious uh, in the last map, Dorado, it's, it's good to be able to put a point on the board. All right, now we are actually going to see Taimu sniping. Uh, they are down a round, but they're still up 2-0. So if they can manage to take both of these rounds, they will be our champions today. Uh, put everyone on their strongest character. Tailspin on McCree, Taimu on the Sniper Widowmaker. Let's see what Taimu can do to uh, lead us off here. Much better map for snipers in general. I mean, especially the bridges here where you can just kind of hang out. Yeah, and you can and see into the point. Safety. Which yeah, is just get rid of the important. bubbles from this point, and that's what they're doing. Winston bubbles down, but Tracer going deep on the time, who has to rewind back. Yeah, already good vantage point does pick off Gods on Soldier immediately. Mercy now taking some fire, and Tracer both uh, in nice. the hallway there. Lateral movement can be very difficult uh, for a Widowmaker to hit, but when a Tracer's blinking toward you, it's actually pretty easy to line up that shot. And Coco and company do take out Enigma. Now, Envious in control of the point are going to be able to just watch this spawn door and take some free shots into it. They're all going to go hallway side just for that additional cover. All right, yeah, clean start though. Chips boosting up the, the Widow right now. He's waiting for Seagull, looking for Seagull, misses as he's dancing back and forth, and he's not able to confirm any of the snipes. But Enigma coming around the side, he gets hit point blank with the snipe. Seagull goes down immediately, just melted by Envious, Coco, and Tailspin, uh, both sinking a lot of damage in there. Both have their ults available. There's sights available. Watching Soldier ult now, but the Genji deflect actually helps take him out with Milo. Okay, Seagull actually got really low. He's trying to go around the backside, looking for that sniper, but he ends up falling off the edge in his attempt to come Oh no! Up. I missed it. I was just on him and I switched away over to Internet Hulk because he had his ult available. Uh, there's a wave goodbye from Internet Hulk and the peanut butter spray. Seagull with the whoops. <laughs> <laughs> he, 
He was he was looking for a great flank onto time move, but he ended up just killing himself. <laughs> that happens. That will happen. So we do have vision available for the entire uh, NV team now that the visor is down. LG will be looking. How do we how do we get through here? Is is the question? Uh, right. Basically, you've got two two small exits, and they're going to want to try and line it up with a speed boost here. I don't know what's taking them so long, but here they go out the gate. Okay, Enigma got hit with that headshot immediately, but he's able to be healed up quickly. Enigma is down the gods with that ultimate, trying to get in there with the sights, but the sound barrier being great defense here on the side of Envy. Very low is Milo. He ends up falling. Seagull desperately trying to get in there with his sword, trying to just tear someone in half, but he's going to end up having to retreat. Yeah, he didn't. He actually pulled it out too early and did not choose to dash the bridge. He hopped over to the right side and just did not have a good target available. Never so, pull it out too early. Uh, basically, it's over, and that is disgusting. Lee bad to pull out your Genji sword too early. <laughs> Tailspin now, uh, flashing and fanning everyone in his sights, and Coco doing a bunch of damage as well. But Envy actually loses the point for the first time here in the oh, second wow. round of Li Zhang. Esper does bring everyone right back up after that, so they will probably have a good chance of taking it back, especially with Tailspin just mowing down Gods and Esper now with the high noon, able to do some damage on Reinhardt. Looks like he just fell off the map. I don't know what <laughs> just happened there. I think uh, Harry. Hook must have hit him from behind with GG. the Lucio boop. But that is going to be it. Overtime's going to tick down. I don't think anyone can reach this point. All right. Well, Envy puts a point on the board as well here on Li Zhang Tower, going to the third and final round for this map. Now, if Envy happens to win this round, that will end the tournament. They will be the victors. But the tournament dream can still live on if LG manages to win this point. I will protect the innocent. All right, I'm going to go ahead and watch Tailspin. This is one of my favorite places to use a Farah. this uh, observatory level, or control room, I suppose it's called, technically. But uh, basically, you have a lot of airspace to work with. You can bounce people off a ledge sometimes. You can hop up to the ledge if there's threats up there. But uh, there's rarely a Widow in play. Taimu is going to be basically a Widow with his excellently accurate McCree. So we'll yeah. just see if Tailspin can survive uh, the... Uh, God's soldier. That's going to be his only real threat. And Siegel actually dashing up can take out a Farah as well. Going for the bounce on Milo does actually get it. <laughs> Harry Siegel Hook gets double. Shot. Asper's going to fall as well at this rate. Very little help left. Tailspin is just on fire this game. This whole tournament. Yeah. Tailspin did great there. Harry Hook actually got the bounce itself that sent Milo and another over the edge. And then uh, Tailspin with the easy cleanup. Now Envy is first to cap this point. This is the tournament round. If Envious can take it, they will win the series 3-0. to zero. So LG, despite their valiant effort getting through Reunited to get here, uh, have not really held up to Envious' might. No. I gotta say, I'm really happy to see that Enigma has swapped the McCree because his Tracer just was not getting anything done. And we do see the nice res going off, just allowing them to try to get on the point. Pook's taking huge damage. We do see Tailspin has his ultimate ready, looking forward the flank, going in, casting it. Gods will end up falling to it very early. And he actually oh. hits Seagull as well, two, maybe even three with Enigma on the back. Seagull, unfortunate. He had just started his gas. And Gods is a great target there just because his mobility is so low, he's easy to track with that Barrage ultimate. Uh, so it, it only got a couple of kills, but that's easily going to reset LG and force them back, especially with your five other Envy members still alive and pouring in tons of damage. I'm going to watch Taimu now with that Deadeye available. Isn't Taimu dead? He did just die. <laughs> that is what is known as the Caster Curse. All right, well, the Caster Curse is real. We see uh, Gods is casting his ultimate right now, trying to pick up some kills. So far, not a whole lot of luck, though, as he's going around the backside. He's got the heals from the Mercy. He has eyes on Farah, but Farah, we see Tailspin just going up to the top of the map, getting up to that perch, and a great grab on Surge paired with Tailspin's ultimate, picking up four kills. Oh, my goodness. I zoomed out just in time to catch all the, uh, the corpses falling to the ground there. Milo trying to do what he can with with a nice earth shatter and pin, but he's not going to actually scoop any kills. Pooks trying to get out of there down as well. 20% to go. LG has one more opportunity here, and they have no ults to do it with. Yeah, 84% right now. Envy trying to end the tournament here. You mentioned the ultimates. They aren't there. They're not even close. Most of them down to just down the teens on the radar right now. And a little hello coming out from Winston. Here we go. Seagull and company pushing forward. Seagull dies instantly to the flash combo from Taimu. Zooming out now just to get a view of everything. Enigma's trying to get in there. Milo is surrounded. Enigma's their last chance. He's not even going to be able to roll onto the point as Internet Hulk runs in, stomps him, and that is it. 3-0 Envious over LG. 
no one is able to touch Envy at the moment. Gosh, that was not even like close. I'm sorry. Tailspin on the whole team on fire, but I just absolutely love watching a Pharaoh that can dominate the enemy team. And that's what I was watching Tailspin way too much that last game. Yeah, it was definitely worth. Uh, you can see the res only picked up a couple of members there, but bouncing from target to target while they get kills uh, definitely racks up the mercy play of the game points. You can see 16k damage from Tailspin. That's a third of Envious's damage from one player. That's actually just crazy. He was sure he was getting the, the power up there from Mercy, but just kind of tearing through everyone. And uh, well played, Envy. 3-0 without dropping a single map all day long. They retain their title. Number one seed for a reason. Yep, Cloud9 is the only kind of mystery out there at the moment for who could contend with uh, Envious. And Cloud9 did not play today because they are traveling to E3, from what I hear. Uh-huh, very cool, very Which, cool. Which uh, begins...